ask in the meeting, can we have somebody kind of sophisticated, like a sommelier of chocolate, and we found one. Uh-huh. Mm. So, if you're looking, Valentine's Day normally, it's very big for chocolate. Sure. But if you want to take it up a notch, if you're yes. buying it as a gift, why not do something unique and elevated? That's year? why we brought in a chocolate sommelier. Estelle Tracy is here. Yes, she is from France. <laughs> Welcome. I am. Thank Where you. Where are you living now? I live in Canada Square. Oh, awesome. Yeah. But you're not into mushrooms, are you? Uh, I'm more into chocolate this day. I understand. Yeah. Okay, we you. wanted unique chocolates, mm -hmm. and boy, did she come through. Look at this. Buttered toast and sea salt. Will it taste like buttered toast? That's exactly what it's going to taste like. Do you want to try? Alex, you want to go uh, for one? Yes. All right. I'd love me some buttered right. toast. There you go. I'm okay. just going to yeah, dig in there. Stuff. All righty. All, All right. right. Holy moly. That tastes like buttered toast. Wow. Right. Oh, my God. How, like, how does that? So this is a milk chocolate, and there is literal toast that is blended with the chocolate. Some butter, and there's a sprinkling of sea salt on the back that you might taste a little bit. So would they mix into the vat uh, in butter a, toast? In, a, in something called a melanger, a big grinder, okay. and they just throw in the toast, right toast, okay. in New Zealand. What's That's the next amazing. one then? What's yeah, what's, what's next? So next, what we're doing is we're going to try an oat milk chocolate. Oat, and oat milk? Yes, that has some maple sugar. This one's from Canada. And um, you might taste some of the oats as well as some of the maple sugar to make this mm. really taste like fall. I can taste some of the maple oh, comes in a little later. It tastes like eating oatmeal. <laughs> yeah. I do love me some oatmeal. Okay, what's All next? Right. So the next one is a more uh, classic milk chocolate, but 58%. And um, the cacao here comes from Ghana. Ghana is the second producer of cacao in the world. And in honor of the first day of Black History Month, I thought this was fitting. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Is Madagascar first? No, Madagascar is very small. Ivory Coast is number oh. one. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one, we're going to Westchester, PA, not oh. too far from here. Uh -huh. Eclat chocolate. This is a 72% uh, dark chocolate with some nibs. And the nibs refer to the actual crushed cacao. And these are nibs? This is, these are cacao beans. beans. And so when you remove the husk and you crush them, you get cacao nibs, like kind of what you find on your granola. Mm -hmm. um, that's effectively 100% chocolate. Cacao! Yes, cacao, yes. <laughs> that? Oh, no, no, this one here. Uh, oh, no, yeah. you don't want to go there yet. Why this not? is going to be intense. So did you try oh, this one yet? Oh, okay. God. All right, this one, what? So we're going to do something on the next one. So this one is like, this is the fanciest bar of the 37 Chocolates collection. So it is an $18 bar. This is really as high end as chocolate gets. Oh, this one here? No, the one, the, oh, we just this tried. one you just oh, tried. Oh, wow, okay. Yes, so you can get that in Westchester at Ecla. 18 so bucks. Yeah, but this wow. is as good as it gets, okay. which isn't bad. So next, we're going to do a trick. You're going to take a square of the chocolate. Okay. okay. I'm not going to tell you what it is. This is uh -oh. going to be more fun. So I want you to put, yes, yeah, smell it. Okay. Smell your chocolate as it melts in your mouth. So take a couple of bites. As the bites start melting, I want you to pinch your nose for five seconds. And I want people to do that at home just as well. All right, let oxygen in. It's almost starting to burn. No, no, you can't let the no. air in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, so Sorry. let that in. And so what do you taste? It's like sour. It's not sweet to me at all. It's, yeah, it's sour. Yeah, fruity. Fruit, very fruity. Right. Is it raspberries? So you just had 100% dark chocolate. Oh, so the, it's not sweet to me at all. Yeah, that exactly. Mm -hmm. But I, that's why I didn't want you to know what you were yeah. tasting. Yeah, okay. that was cool. What's that? Yes. So next, okay, we're heading to our Valentine's Day. This is a dark chocolate. The uh -huh. beans are from Haiti, and we have raspberry blended in. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I like that. That's all. That's raspberry, mm -hmm. baby. And it's like, but it's like potent. <laughs> yes, but because we have real it's raspberries, stronger. yes. Oh, okay. So it's not your typical chocolate with raspberries. Like this is raspberry. Yes, stuff. these are blended in as well. Oh, I mm -hmm. Yes. And it gets more raspberry as you go. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like it a lot. And finally, we're going for dessert. This is a white chocolate with lemon and lemon sea salt. Lemon. Lemon. Yes. 
So a lot of people will say that white chocolate is not real chocolate, but white chocolate is made from the cacao. So uh, half of the weight of a cacao bean is fat. It's called cocoa butter. And that cocoa butter is the base of white chocolate. Can I just say this? Please. I've never tasted anything like that. And it may be the favor of the whole world. I know. It oh, cuts, really? Because usually white chocolate is like almost sickingly right. sweet. But it, the lemon cuts it with the salt. And it's mm -hmm. really good. Nice balance. Yeah. Ooh. This is the best chocolate segment we've ever done in uh, 25 years of the show. There where you go. They, where can they get these? So um, I have uh, some of these on my website. If you go to 37chocolates.com, you click on shop. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, you know, get by local. You can head to Westchester at Eclat and get that magnificent bar. That's right. where.